Before we get into today's topic, I'd just like to say this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy. And guess what? They've got a new range of mission packs available for Microsoft Flight Simulator for PC and Xbox users. Now prepare yourself for some very exhilarating situations that include emergency procedures and malfunctions, hazardous weather, you can even recreate the miracle on the Hudson. They also come with necessary charts, procedures, even a ground school to get you up and running. And don't forget, these missions are from a real world airline captain. Welcome back to the channel folks, and in this video I'm checking out a free add-on called Auto FPS. And as you can see here, we're flying in the Just Flight Hawk. In the Pimax Crystal at full native resolution, using eye tracked foveated rendering as per the OpenXR toolkit. But the big deal here is auto FPS, which you can see on the left hand side, which is quite simply automatically changing various parameters within the sim to keep to my desired frame rate, which is 45 frames per second. Now, in order to do that, it's changing the T-LOD, which is terrain level of detail and clouds as well. It's funny because I've said for many years now the two big hitters in MSFS is clouds and terrain level of detail. So it's great that the developer has really paid close attention and able to sort of dynamically auto adjust them depending on the needs of the PC to maintain that frame rate. I'm so impressed with this utility and once again it's taken me an absolute age to get to this so I do apologise. I don't even know the name of the developer, I haven't contacted them or anything. I've just been testing this out all day today and I'm super super impressed. Now the funny thing is, is that um, I got Melissa to look at the table when I wasn't recording. And generally speaking, my T-LOD is usually hovering around 150 to 170 with clouds set to high. But as soon as I click the record button to do this video you're seeing now, look at the difference. My clouds are now at medium settings and my T-LOD at the moment is at 50, which is very low. However, this is also something I've said many times now. I didn't even notice that the settings had changed because I was too busy immersed in VR, enjoying the flight, and more importantly, enjoying the level of performance. This is so crucial, and I think we all get hung up too much on trying to eke out the most graphically intensive settings in VR, but then we completely forget about the frame rate and just enjoying it. This takes all of that out of the equation. You'll now notice some stutters and that is directly linked with when the T-LOD changes. I did not notice that in the VR headset, it's only something that causes an issue in the VR recording itself and I thought I'd leave that in there just to reassure you that if you look at the frame rate it never budges off 45 frames per second. In fact this video was a nightmare to record footage because I kept getting these really bad pauses and freezes um, just because for some reason when it changes it interferes with my recording software. As you can see with the DA42 I'm getting a much higher T-LOD and this is all dependent upon how you fly, whether it's fast and low, really high up and slow, you know, if you're in an airliner at 30,000 feet, it's going to be different from, you know, flying in a helicopter. And I can assure you that in the headset, it felt absolutely butter smooth. Really, really good stuff. And now I'm going to fly into Manchester, one of my very highly detailed resource intensive areas. And I can assure you that usually when I'm recording footage, especially with the native resolution of the Pirates Crystal, I probably get, if I'm lucky, around 35 frames per second. Not anymore. Check this out. I'm getting a smooth 45 frames per second. And you may ask, why have I chosen 45 frames per second? That is because I'm running the Pirates Crystal at 90 hertz. And whatever refresh rate you're running, your headset, whether it's the Quest at, say, uh, 80 hertz, or even 120 hertz, if you aim to get half of the frame rate of your refresh rate, then you'll get a much smoother experience. So here I am taxiing around Manchester with FS traffic everywhere, and it wouldn't budge off 45 frames per second. There is also some expert options as you can see. I haven't messed with these, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to fiddle around with this add-on a bit more. But now it's your turn. Please do let me know in the comments below. Have you tried this add-on? 
If not, I would highly recommend it, especially as it is free and it will definitely make a huge difference to your performance. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please feel free to subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.